Something terrible is about to conclude. Here. Beyond. Beyond. Beyond the beyond the beyond. Beyond one million XP later. Behold. Those are numbers. Ascended Tangus. God, Tangus is so huge. Yeah, useful uh, perspective here. On pretty much every attribute, the rest of the team has surpassed what Tengus was during the previous attempt at the end game, where he was able to solo Shutat and Ramu. So Goodness. that's something. Here's some more spells. Well, the same spells, but higher ratings of them. Heal rain goes up to three. Or yeah, Laurel has heal rain three now, and he has heal rain four, which is just a flat full heal for everyone. Three is sixty per person, which is practically a full heal. Taunt is taunt. Taunt is that. Also, I'm carrying eleven revive herbs. Twelve revive herbs? Some number of revive herbs. I hit the wealth cap, left to go back to the secret store, spent a hundred thousand gold on revive herbs, then came back. And you can see I'm sitting here now with sixty-eight thousand gold. That's how long they've been out here on the sand. God dang. Up and down, back and forth, all day long. Let us record the time on file. The last data to be destroyed. Shall we finally destroy data? Current time on file. According to Tankus, 47 hours. Nice. Oh, this is Camdar. Oh, this town to is Camdar. Camdar. We're here at Camdar. Finally, Kandar is found. Get to the end of the game and then spend as long preparing for the final battle as it took to play the rest of the game. Yeah, that's, uh... That sounds about right. That's beyond. Now then, the walk. Once more to hell. These, this dragon's a baby, right? At this point? Yes. Goodness, look at the power. Everyone is huge. Yes, by the deepest points of the grind, every battle in the overworld here, and thus by extension, most of Hell Dungeon itself is... You don't even need to mash for the time pits. You, you just sleepwalk through it regularly. Everyone is faster than a demon pet now. I'm assuming that means that they are very fast. They are fast. That, that is like the fastest enemy available out here. Something inside Taunt. hell might be faster. Taunt is helping. Taunt is helping. Now, other valuable benchmarks that exist, because actually most of the threats out here are as powerful number-wise as things inside Hell and the battle itself. The battle against Hubig is mostly a matter of he's a lot of meat and he's four actions per round and what have you. Physical defense has gone up radically. The physicals in there are going to be harmless. They are going to plink off of Tengus's iron skin. 
and Sorry. be manageable on everyone else who is noticeably softer than Tangus. Well, Tangus is the only one who's actually wearing any kind of armor, so that makes sense. Yes. I mean, I guess Domino is wearing shoulder stuff. Now, on the other hand, magic damage hasn't changed much at all. After 1 million XP, a dozen levels, 500 hours in the time chamber, some combination of these numbers does reduce magic damage. It has budged a bit, but it's some fraction of what regular defense achieves. Mm-hmm. Now, remember what the fastest descent to Orb Chamber is? It's something. And it involves a couple of spins. Back at it again. Yeah. Now, this is visuals I can get into and is not at all disorienting. Utilizing that power of the PlayStation 1. A system that achieves mode 8. Yes. Beyond the limits. Yeah, here we go. Here's an app demonstration. So yeah, there's a Holy Light 3 out of these lads. 22. That's about the same as it would have been before. The difference Except is we're going to break each of them in a single strike. And we have much more LP with which to endure punishment. I do actually like how this LP system plays out in practice. It's a fine health gimmick. You can think of it as having multiple breakable life bars. All that's missing is some expensive way to regain a life bar and actual consistency about how much LP per VP. So you can actually judge how many bars your LP total is worth. Have a real sense of your effective HP. Yeah, as far as, like, to start winding up the verdict on the Beyond experience here. Two big hypotheses have floated in the conversation among the community here, who have become more knowledgeable about Yond than anyone should reasonably be, mm -hmm. that I'm reasonably supportive of. One, this probably started its life as a project for the SNES CD, which became the Nintendo PlayStation, which became the Sony PlayStation, and Camelot was dragged along for the ride. Yeah. That would explain a lot of the things that are weirdly much more primitive than you would expect anyone to do on this platform. The other hypothesis? That they didn't want to make this after the mutation, after the drift and the separation. And they finished it to fulfill a contract and then moved on. Also possible. Both of those feel Especially. consistent with what's been on display here. Especially since uh, Camelot is a, like, typically op like operates as a second party, where they are directly hired by companies to make stuff. Yeah, so they might have agreed to this out of wanting to establish connections with Nintendo, and then got dragged along by Sony after the divorce. Yeah, I could see that as well. I feel that makes sense, that drives with what's on display here because there are parts of Yond that are bad in an unpolished, incomplete, skeletal way, and it's distinct from the parts that are bad from, like, architectural bad decisions that are the ones you can also see still existing in later Camelot RPGs, the ones that live on in Golden Sun. Yes. Those are a bad idea that they believe and a bad decision they put in deliberately. 
and that's, that's distinct just because... from the ones that would just be, yeah, we just hammered this out in a weekend to be done with it. We didn't want like this mm. either. Do I spin here? Maybe. Do you spin? 1-800, are you spinning? Is this spinning? Is this spinning, actually? No, it isn't, because this is... You can't call this spinning. You're just going around in a centrifugal pattern. Like, map-wise, it isn't. We're just going from one side to the other of a round room, is what I, we're yes. conveying here. Although the I'm, camera is spinning. Just Tenkis bear with not. me here. Apologies for the nausea, but I want to now actually like, look at this effect methodically, step by step. I think we're looking at the inside of, like an octagon with one of these intervals on each face and that is being rotated a segment at a time it's definitely more sides than an octagon but it is a a hedron of some kind yeah like let's see here from this door one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty sides ah nice a dodecagon. Wait. Yeah? Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah, dodecagon. Which I think also from how they're proportioning it out there means they're depicting more than 180 degrees of rotation. Which I could Probably, actually get yeah. behind as a cool idea for an effect to deliberately pull. Of, okay, you're in the weird hell temple. Time and space are bendable. Goodbye. Good day to you, many Balrogs. Balrog. Just gonna be on my way here. We break another one of these. Or not yet. And here we are, Orange Chamber. One last fight. One wizard. There he is, the last wizard. Crunched. And we're back to this. Which also on its own, so like this is there's a handful of scraps of bits of Beyond that are like, okay, these seem like they could be in a more complete product. A few units of effort were expended in making Beyond, and they're just weird and scattered. Hell Chamber here looks good. Oh, nice though. Checkpointing? What? There's checkpointing. Wait, what? Excuse me? Checkpoint. They kept oh, the progress. Oh, this is actually a pleasant surprise. You, you defeated. So wait, though. If you agreed to conquer the world, though, and everyone abandons you, does that mean you'd have to redo the entire dungeon as just Tangus? Maybe. That's incredible. Oh, you'd have a chance to go back and retrieve your other extra party members, though, who didn't hear about that. You could go oh, get Samson. Samson for this. Hey, Samson! You wanna go save the world, Samson? Alright, crab battle then. It's time for crab. Let's do it. He big. He big. So I guess he decided to just hang out there and didn't do anything special. Yeah, he's just Best. chilling out at the portal. I guess if you're a moral demon, like, you, you don't really care about when you do this stuff because, like, like you mentioned. got all the time in it forever. I mean, we killed Shatat, though, so, like, did the pact even get a chance to be edited, or are the laws still the same? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, this might actually be completely pointless. He might still be confined, we could just leave. Yeah. Nothing would change. Anyway, let's fuck him up. Destroy this crab. Consume the soft shell in the center of crab.
Everybody attack up. There's some real damage. Find out how much meat is in this crab. This is a little disappointing, though. I wanted to try it again. That was gonna be canon. Tangus, unconquered. Tangus, invincible. The undefeatable Tangus. Shogun Tangus. Seems fine. Tangus is okay. When did Tangus? What is Tangus? When is Tangus? Well, now is Tangus. Of course. Taunt, though. Taunt's into this. Taunt is invested. Taunt wants it. Taunt's gonna give it to you. Huh, and I guess summon spamming is not as bad if occasionally they just do normal attacks. Yeah. Summon just the spell is kind of harmless. Mm -hmm. It's the other named summons that are irritating. That was the threat. Really, though, were, were summons doing better than just Taunt's physical attack? Especially with the buffs up. <clears throat> That's an over. Get up into those whole bites of damage. Numbers are genuinely fun. When a game of many numbers is willing to restrict itself to a relatively tight scope, it makes the large numbers more tangible. Mm -hmm. When you're used to dealing with tens, dozens, maybe a 50, a 200 is real and huge. 200 nice. is gigantic. Nice! Beyond. Beyond. Welcome. Hi. 
I uh, opened my phone and saw you on the final boss already and ran to my computer. Welcome. Yeah, it turns out the one There's a actual checkpoint. kind of moment of... Yeah. It's... There's an actual moment of mercy in this game. That's something that, a good decision. Chitat and Ramu, stay dead. It's weird. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, well, this is just phase two of the, of course, three phase boss fight where the final boss is just like three or four tall archers. The final phase, oh. which is a dragon with three heads, that's all of your dads. Yes. Three heads who are each a tall archer. Yeah. Man, I really don't like Akadius' uh, gross spiky tongue. The drippings... Tongue. The drippings, oh, the drippings also okay. aren't great. Well, I can deal with are. some dripping. They're there. Yeah, what if for this fight they brought back the, the smaller, to say the actual size versions of all the character sprites? Yeah. We got that once in Mushroom Cave and then never again. Bring it back here and sell this demon, this... Gigantic. Mm -hmm. That'd be a look. I mean, they actually do do that in Golden Sun. In Golden Sun, the final boss fights, uh, your character sprites are smaller. By the way, that UI thing that has existed that I found out from the menu, you can hold pause to hide the UI during combat. You know, if you just want to look at things. It's weird, huh. but it's there. You can appreciate that he kind of, yeah, Xenomorph mouth projects his skull out of his torso while casting. It's a good look. Yeah. This is a very handsome monstrosity we've got here. It's a very disgusting, gross crab that I hate, but also I love it. Because it's a disgusting, gross crab that I hate. You hate it, but you respect it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, look at the weird tubes on the back of his hands. Yeah. These like, like the uh... anemone, these weird protuberances. These weird polyps that grow out of his hands. Really though, silence doesn't hurt me much. Annie has spent her MP, so she should start punching. And Taunt has just been punching anyway. It's just better than him casting magic at this point. I want talent unsilenced when it's time to attack buff again. The proper Camelot experience. It's just better to attack. There he goes again. Unfortunately, since I have sent everyone's numbers to space, that heal rain is useless. Yeah, that's, that's a drop less in the than a bucket. single attack. And he just reset that. Annie, a wizard in the back row. Wake up. Please Watch awaken. Out. A single science. undead lecter. Finally, one person is groggy. Force is domino. 
Uh, there are people who've said that the person in slot two takes the most attacks. The person front and center. It kinda does seem like that. Domino is targeted very consistently. Just isn't beyond if Domino or Samson don't die, you know? Domino, the second Samson. Mm -hmm. Now, how much crap do you think is left? Now that Probably not we've that much. spent a bunch of mana, folks are starting to get grogged up. How much further will this drag out? I gotta imagine that it doesn't have an outlandish amount of health. You might think that. That's but this true. is on the Sony PlayStation. It can count to 30 million. Yeah. It can count a lot higher. It's, we're not restricted to 65,500... What? 35? Anymore? Yeah. And even then, you, could you can just cheat to get effective counters larger than yeah than your single integer limit there we go also 4 billion it can count to 4 billion you're a 32-bit yeah. integer. Right. Thank you for prevails. Zero experience. We learn nothing. Fend. Fend. No gold. The king of demons does not have change. Nope. Well, he just showed up. Oh, he's actually been hanging around here for like 24 hours. Give him the orb! Don't give him the orb! Man, that orb is huge. With apologies to photosensitives. Yeah, this sucks. Wow. The earlier times when people thought this was when people didn't know. Didn't know were actively antagonized over feeling it was some manner of, you know, illegitimate, etc. Shitty reactions that people have to disability. Yes. A healing force. A healing force flows through the party. Samson's here. Samson. Samson was here the whole time. Samson, I can't believe it. I'm so glad you were here and was helping. Also what, Edward? Edward was here too? Remember how Domino's avenging his family? No. Remember Taunt? Taunt is here. Remember Tengus? Who is Tengus? Just who is Tengus? Finally, Tengus. It's got to be Tengus.
Lord Kevins. More than one Kevin. Kevin in plurality. Multi Kevin. Hill. Steiner, how'd you cross two mountains? Steiner can't help. Steiner can help. That is permitted by law. I see the conspicuous empty slot where Percy was supposed to be, but he's dead. Percy is completely dead. Yes. For a while, shit happens, Samson. Yes, that crap was the cause of all injustice and strife and hardship that could possibly occur in this and future times. By removing that crab, never again will there be any disparity. Samson, you idiot. You moron. Angus must descend into hell to retrieve the soul of his adopted father. Yes. Finally. Tangus. The sequel you we've all been waiting for. Tangus Inferno. The ascent from hell with Kevin's. Hey Laurel, why your hair pink in the like in the game, but like just red in your portrait? No can do taunt. No Wait, more is egg taunt jokes. supposed to be an egg? No more egg jokes. You know, all those times that egg jokes have appeared in the script up until now. Like... Yeah, Taunt's human. Taunt is a human child. Wizard. From Wizard Town. 
It was an egg, I guess. He was converted to an egg by alchemic goo. We could have just told his parents he was here the whole time. They were right there. First thing I did was go back to Todd's house and try to say, hey, I found your son. Here he is. He's an egg now. Also, Todd, you were clearly an orb. It's not an egg. It's an entirely different shape. Tengus, Abyss Walker. Congratulations, Tengus. You'll wander hell for the rest of time. This is your reward. Percy's back? Is that They'll, Percy? They went ahead and went the animal really quick and grabbed Percy. Okay. Turns out Percy survived and crawled home and sat in the corner. Yeah. Beyond the beyond. Why is the capitalized? Beyond the beyond. Beyond than beyond. My favorite game. Window System Programmer, Makoto Yamamoto. Makoto Yamamoto. Okay, good. I don't have to push buttons to advance this dialogue. Thank goodness. Ah, credits. Standard moving diagonally. Steiner is more talented than you think he is. He did help. But he does. Hello, wizard. You are very brave to come here. Quite and so, it's no matter to me, I the curse is passed. You have plenty of gold. I will give you one piece of free information. Horrendous keeps a one free of piece of information. That's Tangus. The curse is 6673 Canadian as of March 15, 2019. I'm left in the unique position to perform arbitrage on the Cursed 50. Uh, to be fair, this does mean you get to say the Cursed 66, which is yes. also a really good name. I have been muted for I don't know how long. Hello. Congratulations! Um, I muted myself when I started typing that in, and oops. Uh, anyway, so, speaking of Cursed knowledge, 
there are two pieces of information that I learned about this game that you never figured out. Would you like to hear them? Mm, large taunt, human taunt restored. There you go, one instance of the human taunt sprite. There it is. That's our boy. So first, um, there's a side quest you can do to get an actual revive spell. Hmm. That behaves exactly like the reviver, and you can mm. give it to anybody you want. Mm. So you give it to Tangus. Yes, have an unbreakable Tangus who can raise the dead. Uh, second thing. Uh, so have you, over the course of the game, did you notice that Tangus was taking less damage from spells than everybody else? Yeah, he had the defense ring on. No, he yeah. had... You used a resist jewel on him, which permanently, for the rest of the game, makes you take half damage from magic. This is a thing you can buy. Wild. Yeah. So you could just get that for everyone. I could have just basically. gem coded everyone in and, prismatic flesh. And basically, have decided magic actually isn't a threat anymore. Just turn everyone's body to diamond. Yeah. Yep. There's a resist orb that you can find somewhere that also does the thing for your entire party. But yeah, you can Permanent anti-magic fields. That would have been more effective than 20 hours of grinding to get more raw number to survive things. It actually would have, yeah. Yes. Yep. 100%. Beyond. Beyond. The defense rate did nothing. Well, it did something. You also had better regular defense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Beyond. Beyond. And of course, there's the whole Percy is actually a recruitable party member. If, if you spend you a dozen actions not killing him. Yes. And he's good, I guess. I don't know. He comes at level three promoted and is a paladin. He has white magic and shit like that. He is yeah. a pretty good character. He probably would maybe be a decent replacement for Domino just because he has white magic. The speed run for Beyond the Beyond any percent Japanese version is 9 hours and 48 minutes. This is achievable because there are glitches to get infinite money and some other shenanigans involving rings to become unbreakable. Nice. The any percent US category has not been attempted. Well, segmented. Here we go. Oh, wait, no, you did the off I didn't grind record the grind. Also, Damn. I used speed up a bunch. I could only submit time on file, if that's permissible. If I take control of the Beyond the Beyond community, become a Beyond the Beyond moderator. I think, what was it when I looked up? Let me, uh, time to be Beyond the Beyond, which it does not autocomplete, by the way. I would not be surprised if this is a game with zero life. Like like seven. What the fuck? Uh, Unlimited Saga about, only had one. They're all about 30 hours. I all mean, right. the, kicker, the kicker for that one is still... Let me, uh... Oh, I spelled Hoshigami wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's believable, though. That's The amount of grind I committed to was more than what was necessary. Yeah, see, this is yeah. the one that still kills me, and I want to see this run. Hoshigami beaten in 30 hours. I... no. <laughs> hmm. I don't believe that. That's not real. That's not real. Yeah, so I got... I got most of the serious talk out of the way during the walk. Uh, yeah, this... This is unpolished, incomplete, and then... Underneath that, just has some bad decisions that go into it, that then mm. survive it and carry on into other, more fully funded games. Yeah, this is a weird kind of prototype Golden Sun. Oh, extremely. Yeah. There's a lot. There are a lot of parallels between Golden Sun and this game. Like, you won't even talk about. You want to even talk about the fact that your spells start out single target, and as they upgrade, they hit more targets. Except then you upgrade them further, and they go back to fewer targets. Wait, really? Yes. Like, okay, fire one, single target. 
Fire 2, group target. Fire 3, global target. Fire 4, back to group target. Interesting. A bunch of them do this. They wrap back around to being a large single target spell. What is that sword? What is that sword? What what significance does this sword have? Thend. It's the Thend, Thend. blade. This blade is Thend. Thend has occurred. Blood yes. has brought peace. The peacemaker, blood. That's that's it. That's the sword. That's blood the peacemaker. Blood the Peacemaker is a fantastic name for a sword, actually. Thend Caliber. <laughs> a soul still burns. Two warriors enter. Tangus and... Samson. <laughs> it's not going to be Samson. Samson loses immediately. Tangus and Tot. Who is Tengus? It will only Who take a Tengus? second for me to destroy Tengus. Mm, so yeah, there's no buttons respond. That's the Thend screen. Oh wait, wait, fading out. Right, crash the emulator because every time this program tries to finish running, it crashes the emulator. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Perfect. now let's try to get the attract mode to run, because that's a thing that exists but requires a button input that people say is there, but has never behaved each time I have tried to provide that input on starting this up. Data was destroyed. Data was destroyed. Ends as it began as, but yeah, let's. So when is these buttons supposed to happen? Apparently, as it's coming out of the, like, presented by Sony PlayStation, like, the long, like, startup thing. As All it's right. coming out of so that, you So, if I just slam reset again, give y'all a taste of that. Nope. Although, that may have been the wrong... Hold on, though. Let's... Once again. There it is. Yes. Is that Tangus? Is that him? Couldn't be Tangus. No. Couldn't be. Wow! Oh boy! This is a look! <laughs> this is beyond dithering! Look at- look at what that grass does as it moves. Uh, Holy shit! I think that's supposed to be Shutai? I think so. Yeah, he, he has never... the staff. He never wore that armor though, but that is his staff. There's Tankus! There he is! With his sword, Thun Caliber. Oh, that's Thun Caliber. Okay, yeah, There's there blood. we go. It's Blood the Peacemaker. Holy rendered Tangus. Here in frozen time. There's Kevin. Kevin's. Sir Kevin's. The multiple Kevin. Tangus, your eyes, though. You have nothing there. Your eyes are black voids. Here's a Funko Pop of Angus. <laughs> beyond the Beyond, prototype for Funko Pops. Kevin has a bit of a Master Asia look. He's got the ponytail, he's got the mustache. He's a Kung Fu master. Yeah. Just plays Kung Fu with sword. Swords is Kung Fu. Swords are very kung fu, yeah. Look at the look at the dithering though. Look at the the static on his scarf. Well, remember the, the way that PlayStation compression works for for FMVs. Every frame a JPEG. Every frame is a JPEG. A separately encoded JPEG. Wow, what a perfect ascent that sword had.
beyond the beyond. Under license Who was this? from Camelot. Who was this? This was no one. Oh, this is a shining force. This, this is the this center. This was no shining one. Force. This muse is here. Yeah. This arbitrary single chorus. Yeah. What's the non-plural of chorus? Just core. Cora. I guess. Fend. Fend. Blood. blood? Are you blood? The Peacemaker. Why do you have Steiner? Well, so he can help. I suppose. He will help. He will. Blood. Yeah. This is the best portrait in the game, actually. It's like the only one which they had a uh, an art style for, and then had to just kind of go for it. New journey. Data was destroyed. Also, this kaleidoscope background. This they only did this once. Yeah. For this screen. It's a fine-looking effect that's just here and never again. Mm hmm. Weird. So. Now that data was finally destroyed. At beyond, last, beyond. data destroyed by unknown opcode. Mm -hmm. What's next? Now that I've gained dominion over the curse. Yes. <laughs> now that I have the right to give it a name. <laughs> Someone's going on a quest. A 64th quest? Yes. Nice. Someone will have inflicted upon them for the bounty of fifty dollars. Yes. A crest. A dire crest. Red, the peacemaker. Fucking quest sixty four. <laughs>